two South African high school students have recently made a significant scientific discovery. The students have impressed many with their research findings that propose low-cost ways to reduce mycotoxin-producing fungi in maize. Mycotoxin is a mold that often affects maize and other plants and raises the risk of chronic diseases like cancer in humans. The students, through a delicate process of cleaning and selecting grains, have been able to reduce mycotoxin contamination by 98% in a study that scientists say could help save lives. Since the Fumonism mycotoxin is on the maize, it is on the contaminated maize. And when it is contaminated on the maize, when people consume it, they get esophageal cancer, liver cancer, neural tube deflects and also stunting. So with our experiment, we came up with three simple methods in which people from people can be able to use those methods at home, and that is to be able to visually sort the maze by identifying the maze which is contaminated from the maze which is uncontaminated. The young researchers are students at the Center of Science and Technology. They've been working with scientists at the Cape Peninsula University of Technology's Institute for Biomedical and Microbial Technology. Together, the pair conducted research using samples from East and Southern Africa, where maize is an important diet staple. Well, during our research, we find that the top two countries that were mostly affected by this mycotoxin in Africa was South Africa and Kenya. So as, a, as um, African countries usually um, uh, plant their own maize. They have a lot of subsistence uh, farming communities. It's a common problem amongst African countries because they plant their own maize and then they sell the maize to other um, people in their communities. So it's quite a common problem in the African continent. The preliminary details of their research are still being studied by experts in the field who say they are encouraged by the progress made so far. Dr. Hester Berger, a researcher at Cape Peninsula University of Technology, has been working with the aspiring scientists and says that their findings have greatly contributed towards research at the Institute. This is quite incredible for us because we are always looking for sustainable, cultural and um, sort of affordable methods to reduce market toxin exposure in rural areas where people are exposed to high levels because of the homegrown maize that they consume. The pair represented their country at the 36th Beijing Youth Science Competition earlier this year, in which they won second place in the medicines category and also bagged another award for innovation in agriculture. Robin Smith, CCTV.